Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over the acoustic guitar tutorial for King of Kings. Let's jump right into it. This song is going to be in the key of D major and we're going to be playing without a capo. By the way, if you want to learn this song on lead electric guitar, I have a separate tutorial just for you. Click the video in the top right corner or in the description below. So I'm going to teach you all the chord shapes first and then I'll break it down section by section. Playing in the key of D on the acoustic is one of my favorite keys because I can play every single chord shape that I want without moving my ring finger. So I created a PDF for all the different chord shapes you'll need for this song specifically. So click the link in the description to view these chord shapes as you follow along. The first chord is going to be the one chord or the D major. You can play it like a traditional D chord like this or the D two chord and use your middle finger to hover over and mute the low E string. This is my favorite way to play the D chord because I can really dig into it without letting the low E string ring out ever. The five chord is going to be an A sus. You're going to be keeping your ring finger on the third fret B string and bar the second fret D and G strings. The A string is played open. Sounds like this. Next is your four chord or your G5 chord. It's played with the ring and pinky on the third fret B and E strings with the middle finger on the third fret low E string. It sounds like this. Your six minor chord is going to be a B minor seven, first finger on the second fret A string, open D string, second fret G string, and obviously third fret B string with your ring finger. Sounds like this. Lastly, this is going to be a D chord first inversion or a one over three chord. Basically, it's D with F sharp in the bass. The cool thing is it's the exact same shape as your B minor seven, but move your first finger to the second fret low E string. Sounds like this. Now that you have all the chords mapped out, let's dive into the arrangement. First one and two's progression is going to be one over three, four, five, one, or in letters, D over F sharp, G, A, D, and those are all repeated four times. The strumming pattern in context looks like this. If you want to dive deeper and learn this song for Sunday, you should totally check out the King of Kings Survival Kit. This course comes with a complete lead guitar lesson, rhythm guitar lesson, and acoustic guitar lesson. In addition, I've included chord shapes you could play with guitar tabs and guitar profiles and all the song keys you can possibly think of. Lastly included is the electric and acoustic guitar patches for the Line 6 Helix, HX Stomp, HX Effects, and Pod Go for you. If you don't have any of these units, don't worry, I've got you covered. Included is a module where I break down the pedal and amp settings you'll need to completely crush this song. The link is down below in the description or in the top right corner. I hope to see you there. Now let's jump into the chorus. The chord progression is going to be one, four, six, five, then one over three, four, six, four, five, and then back to one. In letters, it's going to be D, G, B minor seven, A, D over F sharp, G, B minor seven, G, A, and then back to D. All of that sounds like this.
first three and four are going to have a slightly different chord progression. It's going to be six, four, five, one, or B minor seven, G, A, and then D, and that's all repeated. Dynamically, you're going to be completely out for the first half of verse three and then build after that. Verse three sounds like this. Then you're going back into the chorus nice and big. To hear what all of that sounds like in context, click here to watch the next video and we'll see you there.